Hi everybody, this is Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing, and we're at a house out in Black Forest, and they called me because they're having some ice problems, and you can kind of see up there on the roof, and this is just a fraction of what they had. So what's going on is the homeowner gets these basically icebergs up here in these valleys, and they're causing a lot of damage, leaking, coming down uh, on the exterior wall here, and sometimes they've come inside the house as well. And so, you know, Homestead Roofing, we've got our ice buster system, and that's what this homeowner was interested in. But I kind of wanted to describe what is going on. So he gets just massive blocks of ice up there, and he's tried numerous things to deal with it. So you can see that there's the heat cable, the zigzag heat cable up there, uh, trying to deal with that. He's had the attic insulation blown in so that I think it's an R49 try to keep the attic cold to prevent the snow and ice from melting and forming bigger ice blocks. He's had intake ventilation installed up there to try to force cold air into the attic. None of that has worked. And so he's also been using a snow rake to try to rake it off of there. And most recently, he's been transporting buckets of hot water out this window here, outside, up a ladder, and putting it up on the roof to try to break up the ice that's up there. So I'm going to get up on the roof now and kind of show you what it looks like at this point. So you can see how thick that ice is in that far valley over there. The homeowner was telling me that he'd gotten up here and cleared the ice out of here, but it was, you know, as can be expected, it was a major ordeal to get that done. But you can see that, you know, there's still there's still moisture coming down here because this block of ice is melting. Now I should say that this is a north facing slope. So this is not getting a lot of sun, but the sun is hitting up here, causing it to melt. And then it's coming down here and you can see it's frozen in the gutter. And the more that water builds up in there, you know, the more that it melts and builds up in the gutter, the more that's just gonna freeze and build up inside the gutter and potentially go back up underneath the shingles. And you can see that big block of ice over there is about five to six inches thick. So that's what this homeowner has been having to deal with. Uh, and it has been for him an excruciating ordeal because he keeps having to come up here and get either get the snow rake out or pour water on there to try to deal with getting all of this ice off of here. Now, if this ice was not causing any problem, then he wouldn't probably be having to do anything, but he's got a lot of water coming down through the roof, like I say, on the exterior of the wall. And the goal in trying to get rid of this is to prevent that, but also to prevent water from coming inside the house. Now, our hope is that we're gonna be able to install some eave panels right down here. And then we also want to put some valley panels that are gonna run all the way up that valley and the valley that I'm currently standing in. So what we're gonna do is kind of use this video as a case study as we're going through here. We'll get more video as we're doing the install. And then when the product is all installed and finished, um, what it'd be great actually if we got a lot of more snow and ice uh, coming up so that way we could see what the result is with our system installed. But even if we don't, we're going to show you what the product, the finished product looks like actually on the roof. So you might be tempted to think, well, it looks like the heat tape is working up there. There's no ice where the heat tape is. But the reason for that is not because the heat tape is doing anything, but it's because he's actually getting up there and removing the ice and breaking the ice off and using hot water to get rid of the ice. The heat tape isn't doing a darn thing up there, actually. So today's install day, and the guys are up on the roof right now. They're putting down the eave panels. We're actually doing double eave panels, so that way we get enough melt back up away from the eave to eliminate the ice dam problem that he's having there. Putting 10 feet of valley panel in each valley above the uh, front door. And what we did in here is his electrical panel was back here in this corner. And so we had an electrician come in, run a dedicated circuit, uh, he's got a vaulted ceiling above the garage here, and a, so a nice big attic space, clear. Ran a dedicated circuit all the way out here to the soffit right below the downspout. I'll show you that. 
So the goal with that is this dedicated circuit line is actually going to come to that junction box out there at the soffit and then the wiring for the panels is going to go into that junction box actually going to come out of the junction box pop up over the gutter and run through the gutter over to the heat panels but everything's going to be concealed all you're going to be able to see essentially is just a little pigtail of a cable coming out of that junction box and going up into the gutter all the other cables going to be completely concealed within the panels so the way that it works on these eve panels is okay so this is what would be up on the roof and you would be seeing let's turn this around so this is the exposure that you see up on the roof and you can see there's this lip right here and that's where the cable goes so up on the roof the cable is completely concealed it's running through that channel and on this particular installation we've got double panels so we're getting two completely heated panels on there. So the total heated exposure is going to be between 12 and 30 inches of, of melt up that eave. The exciting thing about this is we are literally about 24 to 48 hours to a major storm system moving in, bringing lots and lots of snow. They're predicting that over the weekend, this coming weekend, there could get up to 36 inches of accumulation of snow in this part of town so we're going to get to see this in a real world test almost right away so planning to come back over here so once the job is done once the install is all done uh, planning to come back over here this weekend once the snow is actually settled in and we'll get to see exactly how this is working well winter storm Zylia is here this is the storm that we knew was coming and so that's what gave us the urgency to get the de-icing system installed on that customer's house. But unfortunately, it has also prevented me from being able to drive over to his house so I can get some video to see how the system is performing. I'm gonna to try to get over tomorrow. Hopefully the weather will clear up enough that I can drive over there. Day two of the winter storm. Oh man, this is brutal. So the conditions obviously aren't allowing me to get out to the house to check the system to see how it's doing. But I still want to show you how the system performed through this horrible storm. Because this is, I can't think of any more of a major test for our ice buster system than this. All right, well, we got to finally have a decent enough day. It's not in the middle of a blizzard. So we come over and take a look at the house and check out and see how the uh, de-icing system is going. You can see behind me. I already got my ladder set up, but you can see where the de-icing system is. No ice. Let's go take a closer look. All right. Look at all that beautiful water just running right down off of there. That's exactly what we want to see. So you can see how the panels are interconnected here. So that way the seams are covered up with this little trailer that uh, runs down there and then connects in the fascia underneath the gutter. And then the valley panels go up. You can see nice, perfect melt all the way to the top of that valley panel all the way to the top of this valley panel. Now the homeowner had sent me a photo uh, a few days ago when there was a lot more snow up here and <laughs> this basically had created about a basketball sized tunnel all the way through along that that valley. All right so remember I was showing you that we're going to run a, a dedicated circuit for the cable so we pop this junction box in here and what I call a pigtail, basically, I'm sure that's not the official term for it. So we just ran the cable out along through there and up into the gutter. And then that's what connects into our system over here. 
So anyway, in my opinion, this is super, super exciting. I'm just really stoked about this. Very happy that we were able to provide this homeowner a solution. He's been dealing with ice dams for a number of years, uh, has had leaks on the exterior that have stained the stucco. And the whole goal was to avoid that happening, but also to avoid having leaks on the inside of the house. And it looks like finally, this homeowner was able to get a solution that's going to solve his problems and I'm super happy that Homestead Roofing got to be a part of it. So anyway, if you'd like some information, you'd like us to come out and evaluate your situation to see if an ice buster would work for you, give us a call right up here at our office phone number 719-433-6991. You can visit our website too. Homestead Roofing Colorado, that's down here, homesteadroofingcolorado.com. We've got a lot of information out there. Plus, you can contact our office through our form on our website. Until our next video, I'm Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing.